I'm David Stewart. I'm an engineering manager at Intel Corporation in our Open Source Technology Center. And we're really very excited about optimizing Open Solaris for the Xeon processor to make sure that Xeon is the best platform to use if you're choosing Open Solaris. Now, one of the big projects we're working on is in the area of power utilization, because if you look at the overall use of power worldwide, there's more and more power being consumed as people's co compute needs increase. And so what we've taken as a very strong priority is to teach our processors uh, how to use less power, but still give great performance when you need it. So, uh, but you know, we need to teach the operating system how to use these features and make best use of it. It's a little bit like, you know, I buy a hybrid car and maybe I, uh, you know, I put a teenage driver behind it that drives very aggressively, it would still be using a lot of gasoline. You know, I love, I have two teenage daughters, I love them, but you know, they're, they're still, you know, that's, that's an issue that you have to make sure that people make best use of the hardware they're given. And so that's kind of what we're trying to do with Xeon. We're designing processors that really make the best use of power and performance, um, but we need to teach the software to really make best use of it. So in the area of power management, there are a couple two main areas where we're kind of doing a lot of development here. One of them is in the area of active power management, and the other is in the area of idle power management. So um, for active power management, uh, this is where we refer to P states. Uh, ACPI is actually a standard that defines the P states, and so uh, we're actually able to change the level of power used uh, based on which P state the operating system puts the CPU. So uh, the way to look at this is, uh, you know, if we're at a, a high power state here or a high CPU utilization, we'll actually want to have as much power available as we can to get the best performance. But as uh, the, the utilization of the CPU goes down, one of the things we want to be able to do is step down the frequency and the power uh, to, so we actually uh, don't waste a lot of electricity when we don't need to. So, um, what we do that is, is, how we do that is the operating system lowers the P state of the CPU when it sees that the utilization is going down. And then if we jump up to a higher level of utilization, why we want to make sure that um, the C CPU is in the highest P state and the operating system needs to do that. So that's some work um, that's needed for the operating system. Then in the case of idle power management, um, this is a case where we're calling, called using C states. Again, this is part of ACPI. This is a feature in our core two uh, processors, again, that we're making great use of lower C states to save the most power possible. Um, you know, the, the, the C state uh, issue is great because if you're idle, you use as little power as possible. Maybe you'll, you know, shut off the cores or the clocks and make sure that you're, you know, really, if you're idle, don't waste a lot of power doing nothing. The problem with this is that you might have in this situation, you know, some part of the operating system that continues to, you know, pop up and look around and see if there's any work to be done and then go back, you know, to sleep again. This happens, you know, with the clock tick that's in most operating systems, as well as uh, working on the area of uh, applications that do polling behavior. So if you have an application that polls looking for work to be done and there's no work to be done, it just goes back to sleep. That's really kind of unnecessary. And so, you know, eliminating the clock tick, having a tickless operating system, uh, ha identifying applications that do polling behavior, uh, we're actually uh, contributing to this in a couple of uh, major ways. One is, um, we've de Intel's developed an application called PowerTop. Um, we're making it available on Open Solaris and uh, using the D-Trace feature in Open Solaris to uh, really identify the areas where you have an application and how long am I spending in that low C state and low P state um, and if I'm coming out of those states, you know, why? What's, what's the application? What's the part of the kernel that needs to be changed in order to fix that? So PowerTop's an important tool. We're also working on the C state area uh, to improve the operating system support there. We're helping with uh, this area of P states. This is an area, a feature in our processors called DBS, which stands for demand-based switching. And this is something, again, we're, we're helping in all of these areas to optimize Open Solaris to take advantage of these power features. Now, um, we'd love to get your involvement and your participation in this as a project called Tesla that's part of the OpenSolaris.org uh, site. So go to OpenSolaris.org, uh, you know, check out the Tesla project, get involved, uh, join the mailing list, join the discussion, get involved with the code, uh, start enhancing it, 
and uh, so that we can all kind of work together as an open source community to make uh, the best use of these computers to use uh, as little power as we need to when we don't need the computer, but when we need performance to really you know, have the best power available. And I think you'll agree with me this is a great way to take care of the planet uh, while we're still getting a great computing performance in the enterprise area.